You know, there's so many sites out there, so I think picking a site is very critical to the success of finding someone online. How do you go about picking a site with so many options out there? You really need to consider what it is you're looking for. I always suggest you know, putting together an outline. Um, there's very niche sites out there. If you're looking for tall men specifically, there's sites specifically for that. Do some research. You know, this is an investment. A lot of these sites cost money. So you want to make sure that you know, you're going to get your needs met with whatever site you sign up for. You know, the other thing to consider is there's both free sites and sites that require a paid membership. I think they both have pros and cons. Um, you know, I think the best thing would be to be on a couple of sites. You know, I preface a couple of sites. Have a membership on, say, a Match.com and then a free site like OkCupid. But you, know, you don't want to be on every single site out there because then people will see you and perceive you as a serial dater, which you don't want. What's nice about the free sites is, you know, obviously in recessional times, it's great to not have to pay a membership. Um, they have a lot of really great features. You can search, you know, by all your different criteria. And the other thing is since they're free, you know that they're highly populated. They have thousands and thousands of members so that there's always going to be people online and a really good selection to choose from. Um, you know, some of the benefits of the paid sites are, you know, that people are actually investing money to find somebody. So they're somewhat serious about finding someone. So another great thing about the paid site is not only are people willing to make an investment in finding someone, but also, you know, they had to sign up most likely with a credit card. So they are a legitimate member of society that can be traced. When looking to uh, sign up for a website, a lot of the sites do give uh, free trial periods, which I think are great. You know, before committing to invest in a site, I think it's good to try some of the functions, you know, see what kind of people are on the site, make sure it's the right site for you before making that investment. So, you know, if someone's having an open communication weekend or a free week, definitely take advantage of that. Like, look at the site, see if you like it before signing up. Also, when picking a site, it's good if you're going to be committed to go ahead and you know, do more than just a month so that you can get a price break. A lot of times if you uh, purchase three months or six months, you'll get a better rate than if you just did one month. And I definitely suggest you know, making a commitment of it of at least three or six months if you want to meet someone online. And love is a numbers game at the end of the day. So I recommend you know, being on a couple sites. It definitely doesn't hurt to be on a free site, be on a paid site, see what you have more success with. But at the end of the day, keep in mind that whether it's a free site or a paid for site, these sites do not do background checks. So we'll talk a little later about safety, but that's definitely something to keep in mind.